And forty years I grieved with them, my people gone astray. In my anger swore to them, my rest they shall not enter. Good afternoon. Welcome to the Daily Office. I'm so glad you could join me and thank you. This is Evening Prayer for Friday, March the 21st. It's the second week in Lent, and today is the feast day of Thomas Cranmer, who was Archbishop of Canterbury. And the scripture for this service, Psalm 73, and Genesis chapter 43, verse 1 through 15. O God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure of heart. Psalm 73. Truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure of heart. And yet my feet were almost gone, my steps had almost slipped. For I was envious of the foolish, when I saw the prosperity of the wicked. For they suffer no pain, their bodies are sleek and sound. They share not in human misfortunes, neither are they plagued like others. And therefore pride encircles them like a necklace, and violence covers them like a garment. Their hearts overflow with iniquity, and they seethe with wicked thoughts. They are corrupt and speak wickedly, plotting oppression from on high. They set their mouth against the heavens, and their evil speech walks through the earth. Therefore the people turn to follow, and drink in all their words. And they say, How does God know? Is there knowledge in the Most High? Behold, these are the ungodly, who prosper in the world. They increase in riches." Truly I have cleansed my heart in vain, and washed my hands in innocence. For all day long I have been plagued and punished every morning. If I say I will speak thus, I should offend the generation of your children. When I thought to know this, it was too painful for me. Until I went into the sanctuary of God, and then I understood the end of the wicked. Surely you set them in slippery places, and you cast them down to destruction. How suddenly they are brought to desolation. They are utterly consumed by terror and perish, like a dream when one awakes. So God, when you awake, you shall make their image vanish. Thus, when my heart was grieved and I was cut to the quick, so foolish was I and ignorant. I was like a stupid beast before you. Nevertheless, I am always with you. You have held me by my right hand. You shall guide me with your counsel, and afterward receive me with glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And there is none on earth that I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart fails, but you are the strength of my heart and my portion forever. For they that are far from you shall perish, you have destroyed all that are unfaithful. It is good for me to be near you. I have put my trust in you, O God, that I may declare all your works. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Truly God is good to Israel, to them that are pure in heart. A reading from Genesis chapter 43, beginning at verse 1. But the famine in the land was severe, and when they had eaten up the rations which they had brought from Egypt, their father said to them, Go again and procure some food for us. But Judah said to him, The man warned us, Do not let me see your faces unless your brother is with you. If you will let our brother go with us, we will go down and procure food for you. But if you will not let him go, we will not go down. For the man said to us, Do not let me see your faces, unless your brother is with you. 
And Israel said, Why did you serve me so ill as to tell the man that you had another brother? They replied, But the man kept asking about us and our family, saying, Is your father still living? Have you another brother? And we answered him accordingly. How were we to know that he would say, Bring your brother here? And then Judah said to his father Israel, Send the boy in my care, and let us be on our way, that we may live and not die, you and we and our children. I myself will be surety for him. You may hold me responsible. If I do not bring him back to you and set him before you, I shall stand guilty before you forever. For we would have been there and back twice if we had not dwaddled. And then their father Israel said to them, if, if it must be so, do this. Take some of the choice products of the land in your baggage and carry them down as a gift for the man, some balm and some honey, gum, ladium, pistachios and almonds, and take with you double the money, carrying back with you the money that was replaced in the mouths of your bags. Perhaps it was a mistake. Take your brother too and go back at once to the man and may El Shaddai dispose the man to mercy towards you that he may release to you your other brother as well as Benjamin. As for me, if I am to be bereaved, I shall be bereaved. And so the men took the gift and they took with them double the money as well as Benjamin and they made their way down to Egypt where they presented themselves to Joseph. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for those who are strangers and travelers, that we may welcome them as Christ, and for those who are alone. For the sick, especially those recovering from cancer, especially Carol and Beverly, that they may be protected and find courage and hope in your mercy. For prisoners and captives, for the persecuted and for refugees, that they may be judged in righteousness and find freedom in your truth. We pray for all who died, especially Howard, Joseph Benedict, Ramon Ivan, and John William David, that together with Thomas and all your saints, they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community and for the sisters of St. Francis of Philadelphia, that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of all who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Let us pray. Save us from pride and envy, dear God. Draw near and mercifully hear us. Guide us with your counsel and clothe us in your glory. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Bless Jesus, my soul, and may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen.